Hey Steve, it's John. Uh, this video is for you and, well, anybody actually that wants to kind of get accustomed with, uh, with, uh, SketchUp. Um, dude, it, you know, this program is so amazing. It's like changed my life. Um, uh, anybody that's handy needs to, to learn how to use this. It, it is not difficult. Uh, you just need a little bit of help getting your head uh, wrapped around a couple of very simple things uh, that maybe aren't obvious uh, from the get-go. Um, so when you, nowadays you have to do, the free version is only online. So it's basically only in a web browser. Um, so any browser, this is Mozilla. Uh, so when you first open up your first thing, I think you got to have a Google account, obviously. And then I think you might even have to have this like Trimble account, which is the company that basically owns it now. Uh, so this is the free version. When you open it up, this is what you're left with. You're left with this dude here, which basically kind of just gives you scale. Um, and you're left with the X, Y, and Z access. So you got to get accustomed to like flying around and that's like the mouse wheel. Um, and then you hold the left button and that does this. And then you zoom with the mouse wheel and that does this. So you know, you got to learn these tools over here and just play with them. You know, um, this is a pan tool over here. So you can just pan from left and right. And that's important for when you want to position things correctly. There's the zoom. Uh, there's like the auto zoom here, which brings you in on your model. But th those are the most important tools, uh, you know, to getting accustomed with moving yourself around. I don't really like how they don't allow you to put the tools wherever you want now they're kind of permanently set over here but it is what it is uh so in terms of a few examples i have a huge folder full of sketchup drawings but the one you're working on is seemingly like a rack um and i built one of those uh like 10 or 12 years ago and here it is right here the version that i built it's an x32 compact with like six spaces of rack gear up top, a couple of big drawers for mics and XLR, a stage box in the bottom and speaker connectors. So, I mean, this like took no time at all to draw and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Uh, here's another cool thing you can do is the 3D, is the modeling. Uh, you go to the warehouse, uh, the 3D warehouse, I'll show you how to do that as well. But you can literally like, you know, download these models that people drew. Like here's a lab group and amplifier. And if I want to test that in my rack, I come up here to the move tool, I grab that and I could literally just like slide it around and you can get super precise with it, you know, by zooming in and you grab the corner and you could like put it on a specific spot and, and you can verify that, oh, look, that fits perfectly in my rack. Um, so on and so forth. So that's one example. Um, and then I, stuff that I draw all the time, that I have this giant file with a ton of stuff. Like here's a set of half packs that I made for various wedges. This is Phoenix 12 inch wedges, but the same trunk will fit six SRX 712 widget wedges. Uh, here's a music stand holder I made. Here's some VRX carts for VRX 918 subs. Very elaborate carts, I never built them. Um, here is a uh, Behringer producer case that I built, uh, but I never built because I ended up just going with a Pelican. Uh, truck pack, which is also pretty cool. You can design, you know, draw models of all of your gear, which mine is just some square boxes, uh, but you can draw models and then you can literally like grab uh, these models and like literally move them around and do some truck packing, uh, figure that shit out. So here's uh, cut sheets, you know, um, here's a SRX722 quarter by third pack case that I did. But anyways, you get the idea. So we're, here's SketchUp, like I said, when you first open it, open it. The very first thing you're going to do is, you know, obviously you need to know a little bit of your dimensions, basically your, your length and your height. So you're going to come over here to the rectangle tool, uh, and it's the first tool they you know, they display in the drawing thing for a reason, because that's kind of how you start. So you grab that tool and you make a box on the floor. You just drag and then 
you drag and then you let off. And now that's nowhere near the right size. As soon as you let off, I don't know if you could see down here, hopefully you can. What I just drew is like five and three eighths by four foot nine. I don't want those dimensions. So now I'll back up. As Soon as I let off the button, I'm gonna start typing. So your box is 31.5, double quote, or whatever they call that, comma, 23.5, double quote, enter. And there you go. It just drew that box to that precise dimension. So again, I'm gonna zoom around. I'm kinda gonna zoom in on an angle here. Now, the second most important tool in SketchUp is the push-pull tool, and it is phenomenal. You can do so much stuff with this. So you hit the push-pull tool, grab your box, and I don't know the type of your box here. Uh, I'll stand by, I had it saved on my desktop here. Uh, here's your drawings here. Let me put, move this over here. Uh, I don't know the height, but you're probably, I don't know, maybe, let's just say you're 32 inches tall. So you grab the push-pull tool, you select your box, and you pull up. And just pull up to any distance, let off the mouse button, and start typing. 32, I don't know, we'll go 32.5, double quote, meaning inches, enter. And there it is. There you just drew your box. I want to orientate myself a little bit differently. I don't know, for whatever reason. Now I want to draw the plywood edges. So you're going to go to the offset tool, which is within the push-pull tool now. It's this guy right here. I hope you can see that over here. Uh, it's kind of a circle type thing. So if you hover over it, it'll tell you. I would used a really big mouse cursor so you can see what I'm doing. Offset tool. Grab the offset tool, slide it around and just take it to any size let off the button and hit 0.75 double quote enter and now you just drew the three quarter inch plywood sides for your box go back to the push pull tool which i got to remember where the hell it's at it should be right here there it is now i want to push this center out so you're going to push inward until it goes opaque and then let off. And now you just cut out that whole center of this box. And by the way, you can get rid of this goon standing over here, just select him and delete. You can also get rid of the axis if you want, but I like to leave him in there. It's personal preference. So now uh, orientate yourself uh, again with your mouse wheel or whatever, slide into the corners, grab the line tool here or just the arrow, or I'm sorry, the pencil tool here, uh, and you can start there, go there, and then you're going to wait till this turns green, which means it's parallel on that axis. Click there and there. Now you just drew your cuts, or at least your edges. Uh, you can even get fancy if you want. If you want to do like uh, some of the companies do, they'll do this. Like here's an eighth of an inch over, three quarter up, and then draw. Ooh, I got to orientate myself a little better here. And now you need the pan tool because I got to drag this way. Go back to your pen tool, and that's what's cool. It's still there. Go back to there, draw that. Now you go back to the arrow tool and delete that and zoom in over here. Let me orientate myself better here so you guys can see. Um, and then you can delete this line. So now that just drew your little, I don't know what they call this. Is this a rabbit? Is this a dado? What is that? I don't know. But it's stronger this way, supposedly. Uh, so there's that. Um, your rack has some rack rail um, or a wall in here. Again, let me orientate myself better. Uh, so come over here to the pencil. Um, hit the corner here. Pull over. Again, any number, any distance, it doesn't matter. You're going to let off and start typing. So you want 19.125. Double quote, enter. So now that just put a dot, a line, at 19 and a quarter. It does this for some reason. It fills this in, which I really hate. I don't know how to get rid of that. But at that point, you just go back to the arrow, select that, and delete it. Um, so then you got your dot down there. Now you come back to your line tool, find your dot, draw a line, wait till it's green. There you go. 
that's from front to back. Now this is a th let's say this is a three quarter sidewall. Start there, move over any number, type 0 0.75, double quote, enter, go to here, delete that again. Now there's your plywood distance. So here's your three quarter. Again, grab that, put it back there. And there's that. So now you're going to want to orientate yourself a little bit with the orbit. This is called the orbit tool because you can go anywhere. Uh, obviously, it's out of view there. So you got to go back to the pan tool, which is this. Um, go back to the orbit tool. I think if I push, no, that does, that does a zoom. So yeah, again, they move the tools around so they're a little goofy to me. But then you just orientate yourself to where you can get to both. Now you're going to go back to the push-pull tool. You're going to highlight here, and you just pull this up until this says on face. And then that means you just pulled it up to there. And there you go. So now, you, again, you can get fancy if you want. You can come in here, and you can go, uh, oop, control Y. You can do yourself a little quarter-inch notch here if you want. Draw a quarter-inch up quarter inch over, well, sometimes it gives you the thing, quarter inch over, quarter inch down, delete that line. So now you've got your dados drawn and you can figure that out. Uh, so what's super cool is you don't have to do all this math. It does it for you. Um, man, I hate these new tools. Uh, so let's say I want to figure out this board, what this board is that I just drew. Um, and again, I'm going to draw down here. Uh, I'm going to draw our little dados there, there. So now I want to figure out this tool, uh, this the, the distance of this board. Um, you got to be careful, though, because when you go over here to the measurement tool, I hope I'm not moving around too fast for you. I probably am. Uh, let me find the measurement tools. Here it is, the tape measure. And then you go to this guy over here, which has a little three on it. You click that. And this will tell you distances. You just highlight a line like this. Take this blue line, click on it once, and then pull. And then it tells you the exact distance of that board. So uh, this is super cool when you want to figure stuff out that you you want this program to figure stuff out that you don't want to have to do on paper, um, which is super cool. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, let me orientate here. Um, oh, uh, let's draw a handle. So come around to the side of the box again, grab the rectangle tool, you know, pick your spot, draw your little rectangle. There's your handle recess cutout thingy. Come back to the push pull tool, highlight that box and you can push inward. I don't know, whatever distance quarter inch. So there you go. Uh, if you want your handle to be, I'm going to control Z out. If you want your handle to be in a specific spot, you're going to have to draw lines. Um, you can divide this up. Let's say here's the midpoint. When you find, when it turns baby blue like that, it'll show you the midpoint. Let's say I want my handles at exactly the midpoint all the way across. So you draw a line. Uh, here's the midpoint of that line. And then, I don't know, you want them perfectly centered. So we're going to go this way, two inches. Now you grab your rectangle tool, go to that point. And then, of course, draw your handle and then make your handle, I don't know, let's say it's a typical handle. So it's seven inch comma five inch. Hit enter, go back to your push pull tool, push it in whatever distance you want, quarter inch. Then uh, now I want it same distance this way. So I'm going to pull over and it remembered your last measurement. I went two inches that way. It's smart enough to remember your next inches. Your next, your next measurement. So now it's two inches that way. Go back to the rectangle tool, grab that point, come over seven inch comma five, enter. There you go. Push pull. And this is cool here too. You can pull out, you can push in, or you can go the exact same depth as the one you already did by pushing in and then dragging across to where it says on face. Now those two are exactly the same. So at this point, now you're just going to delete your 
reference lines or whatever lines you want to call these and there you go there is two perfectly placed handles so on and so forth uh when you're making your cut sheets or your drawings obviously you would leave those lines in some of them anyways uh let's say i want to know how far back my handles are and how uh, far apart they are now you'd leave those lines in you'd come over here to the measurement tool which again is the little three. Now I grab that and there you go. My handles are four inches apart and they are two and three quarter from the front and rear. So now uh, you can even go back, if you really wanna be fancy, delete those lines so they don't confuse you. And then you can do a JPEG. I'm gonna orientate myself on this. Um, okay, come on, give me the correct tool. And you can do a print screen of this and then print it out. And then there's your drawing for that side panel. Um, well, actually, you wouldn't do it yet. You would do it with this in here. You would do it with that in there. And you would do it with this in there. Now you would do a print screen, print this out. And there's your literally three-dimensional drawing with all of your dimensions in it for your stuff. Okay, you get the idea. And I'm kind of just rambling on. Uh, next, let's say we want to do uh, some casters on the bottom um, just to make it look cool. Um, zoom around, take these orbit tools, zoom around to the bottom, come over to the other side, and now you're going to come over here to what's called the 3D warehouse. Click that button, and let's say we want to use a 4-inch caster. Just search 4-inch caster. And, it's gonna, and you're going to click on models because you don't want products. Um, and I don't know, let's scroll in until we find a good looking caster model. What I like to do is take a look at the, uh, how many kilobytes or megabytes the files are, because some guys will do a ton of rendering and make them super fancy and shiny and so on and so forth. And they just have, they just eat up a ton of, you know, a ton of space. Uh, in your drawing. So I don't know. Let's just grab the first one. This one looks pretty good. Four inch swivel caster by Ryan C. You click download and here it is. So now you put it in your model. Now I need to move it and orientate it. You, you're going to come over here to this arrow here, uh, grab the corner, and then you just slide it over and place it on your model. You can do, you can control C, control C, control V. Um, but you got to put it off to the side so you, that way you can grab the appropriate corner, so on and so forth. Control Z, Control V, here to here. Hopefully you can see all this, and my camera is still recording. And Control V for the final one. Again, zoom in on the actual corner, place it wherever, and there you go. Let me zoom around, orbit around, get rid of whatever the hell this is. Uh, get that highlighting off of there and now you can zoom around and see what your rack's going to look like with casters on it and you see I mean I literally drew all this in like what 10 minutes um, and you know and you obviously can get super elaborate uh, your rack rail you get the idea your rack rail recess say you want your rack rail I don't know uh, say you want your rack rail three inches back grab your uh, your line tool which is the pencil start in the corner Move back to any, again, any distance. I can move all the way back to here if I want. Click once, let off, and I want a three inch rack rail recess. So I'm gonna do three apostrophe or double quote or whatever the hell that is, enter. And there it is, it just put my dot right here. Now again, I grab the pencil and I pull from there and I'm gonna start going up on the blue axis, but I can't get up here. So now the cool thing is, is if you just come over to the side, and grab the orientate orbit tool I can orientate myself come back to the pan tool go up to where I want it to end zoom in and then go back to the line tool check it out my line is still there you just use you get it on the blue axis slide it up on edge click once and there you go now go back to the orbit tool and zoom around so there is your three inch rack rail recess or whatever number you're gonna do. So there you go, you get the idea. We've 
you know, we've done a lot in like 10 minutes. Um, pan this around. So again, going back to some of my other examples, I mean, I have dimensions on everything. Uh, here's my little music stand box. Uh, here is a three space rack I drew. Um, dimensions are on everything. You can get really elaborate. Here's obviously there's casters that I've downloaded. Uh, and again, on this one, similar to what you did, um, I drew the, the, the sliders. I didn't want to use ball bearing sliders in this because they fall apart and break over time. So I use drawer slides that are painted and covered with a little bit of silicone or paraffin wax. They slide much better and they don't break. Uh, here's the drawers. Um, I drew all of the drawers, uh, so on and so forth. I downloaded the model for an X32 uh, S16. Again, you can move it around, come up here to the move tool, uh, grab wherever you want. You can slide it in and out of the rack. You know, it is such an awesome program. And again, you know, going back, we, we just do, did this in like 10 minutes. And again, it's it's so easy once you get the orientation right, your orbit tool uh, and your pan tool, left to right pan, and then your mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Uh, and again, real quick, rectangle tool. Let's say you wanna draw a half pack trunk. So again, this you know is kind of goofy you got to kind of learn the orientation see here's a vertical panel you'll figure it out uh drag on the ground again drag any number you want you can make a you can go huge there you go i want to draw something that's 20 feet uh oop, i screwed that up sorry uh for some reason it went to the wrong tool here we go i want to i want to make a trunk that's 20 feet 20 to zero, uh, single quote, comma, two zero quote, enter. There we go. Look at that. Now I'm going to pan, orientate myself over here. Now I'm going to zoom. There we go. Now we're going to make a 20 foot by 20 foot trunk. I come over here to the push pull tool again, which is right here. And I want this trunk to be 10 foot deep. Here we go. So I pull up once, I let off 10 0 single quote, or whatever they call that. What's it called? Enter. There we go. There's my 20 foot by 20 foot by 10 foot deep trunk. All right. So now I want to I want to hollow out the inside of this trunk. Again, offset tool. Come over here to the offset. Click the offset. Highlight this this pane or panel or view. And I want the walls of this trunk to be, I don't know, let's do 10 inch thick walls. So you're going to zoom out to about there, let off one, hit one, zero, double quote, enter. So there's 10 inch thick walls. Now we're going to go back to the push pull tool and I want to hollow out the inside. And there you go. So there you go. I just drew a enormous trunk, uh, and uh, to you can again, you can do your cuts, your line tool. Start from there, go over to there, and then you'll see if I draw on an angle, it's not colored. That shows that I'm on the appropriate axis. So you're, it's blue on that axis. Uh, it'll be, and again to review again, baby blue means midpoint of that line. Uh, red means you're on that axis. And then yellow means you're on whatever axis green is. Oh, there it is. It's green this way. So there you go. So, and if you don't want a line, you're just trying to get out, just draw the line. And then, of course, hit Control Z or whatever. So that's it, man. I hope this wasn't too long. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, you can message me or whatever. But, you know, it's such an incredibly useful tool. Uh, with the, with the 3D modeling capability, uh, with the push pull thing. I mean, the push pull tool is really where it's at because you know you can just do so much. Um, you know, again, that's really the whole basis of everything is the push pull tool. And then the cool thing is, is check it out. Let's say, uh, let's say I want to change the dimension of something. You know, let's say this rack isn't wide enough. 
um, and I need to go whiter. Well, you don't have to redraw anything. You're just going to take the push-pull tool and grab the side of the rack, and I'm going to pull it over. Let's say I want the rack five inches wider than it currently is. Grab this, pull, let off the mouse button, and then start typing. Five, double quote, enter. Now it just moved that over five inches for me. Well, now I need to do the inside panel. So grab the orbit tool, slide around to this side, come around the inside, push pull tool. And then here you gotta have to do it twice because we drew a line. So you're gonna grab this one and push this in. Again, push, let off the mouse, start typing five, double quote, enter, five, or you can, oh, here's a good trick for you right here. Say if you have to do it twice, grab in the second time around, you're gonna grab the other one, push in, and then slide over until it says on face, then just let off. Now you've just changed the entire design within like two seconds. And there you go, we just changed it. Now let's, and again, I'm sure you get the idea. You can do it to the heights as well. Go to the top, push pull tool. I want the rack, I don't know. I want the rack, I don't know, 12 inches taller. So grab, pull, let off the mouse button, one, two. Or you can just do it like that. You can just do uh, right there, one foot. So that would be single quote, right? Enter. Now you got to orientate yourself with the orbit tool to the inside and do the same thing to the inside panel. Push up one, two, double quote, and it'll do it. So there's some stuff you'll have to do. Obviously, you'll have to do, you'll have to, at this point, you would have to draw, redraw your dados, just delete those two lines, and then now grab this guy. And again, push this guy up any distance doesn't matter and slide over until you get that and now that is exactly the same as that one uh, so at this point now we would redraw our dado uh, maybe somebody else knows more about this than me i want my dados to be a quarter inch so i'm going up one quarter across three quarter and down one quarter so there you go there's my dado drawn so you get the idea. Oh, it looks like I screwed up over here a little bit. So no big deal. Grab the push-pull tool, maybe. Yeah, grab the push-pull tool, pull this out to on face. And again, now I've got some screwed up stuff here with my dados, but you can figure this out later. Get rid of that. It's so easy, man. It's awesome. You got to learn it. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps. Thanks, man. Bye.